Hi, my name is Mohamed Saif Farouk. I'm a second year medical student at Sunderland University, about to go into my third year. So this video is basically describing why I don't make lecture notes at university and why I don't really think it's particularly useful. Again, of course, when it comes to revision work strategies, it's very individual. If this works for you and you do really well, happy days. If it doesn't, then maybe you can consider what I'm saying. So the first thing is, it's really time consuming. For example, if you're making lecture notes, even if you're doing it in the lecture, the entirety of that lecture, you're making notes and you're not really actually taking in the information, at least I feel like you're not, you're just kind of scripting everything that's sort of said at you and that's it. And by the end of it, you've pretty much got an identical copy of the PowerPoint slides anyway. So I for one don't think that's very useful. Maybe I'm just more of a passive learner, but what I normally do in a lecture is just sort of sit back and listen. And if there's a concept that I don't understand, I'll very much listen a lot more and make sure I can understand that. If I like do understand it, I don't really stress about it too much. Because I guess another thing is if you're constantly typing throughout a lecture for like an entire day every day, you're going to be knackered by the end of the week. Like when it comes to exams, I'm pretty chilled only because I haven't done much throughout the year in terms of time consuming, like low yield work. So I would just, again, listen to the lecture. If there's something I don't understand, then I would sort of go further with that. If I do, if I do understand it, then I just make sure I understand the process. So when it came closer to the exams, I haven't got much to memorise because I kind of understand the fundamentals of how it works. I feel like a step up from making lectures is making Anki flashcards in the lectures. Because um, I guess in this you're making a very useful sort of study resource and it skips the middle stage of making the lecture notes because I've seen people go from listen, watching the, being in the lectures, making lecture notes and then making Anki cards out of them. But I guess what they do is a little bit more efficient. Maybe that's something I'll look into in more detail. I've not really made Anki cards on anything but anatomy in the past where I've, again, I've just image occluded figures. But I don't know, that's just how I do it. When it comes to making lecture notes, I feel like there's so many resources out there that you can use that, to be honest, might be much better than the lecture notes you can make anyway. So these include, um, obviously, firstly, you've got the lecture slides themselves, which, you know, are the good as they are. And then you can use other resources such as textbooks, you can use YouTube videos, um, obviously use them carefully because you want to make sure that they're from good resources. But in addition to like YouTube videos, you've also got your lecturers. So I feel like there's plenty to sort of go off on and make sure that you're in a good place for the exams. And obviously it's all very personal to how you work because I remember previously like making a video on comparing what it's like to write notes, type notes and also use an iPad which I guess is like a fancier form of writing your notes but none of them really worked with me to be honest. Um, maybe I'm just not very good at making lecture notes but I never have. I've just sort of gone by it in my own sort of weird way but again some what's just smacked into my window. Anyway I will probably dabble into lecture notes a little bit more next year and sort of look at if there's something that works for me and then test how it actually, like, how well I perform doing that. But I don't know, I don't really feel that confident about the sort of lecture notes. I just don't think I would use them after I've made them because I just sort of refer back to the lecture slides anyway. I'm definitely trying to find more efficient ways to get work done going forward. Um, and I guess I'm going to consider this in line with our assessment strategy. So next year we get given SBAs. So I think maybe doing like Anki style SBA sort of flashcards would be really useful. Um, my sort of previous like care fee banks that I do with friends just obviously they've gone out the window because we don't have care fees anymore. So going forward, we'll see what we get up to. And yeah, I hope this video was actually quite insightful. I appreciate that it's quite a weird video because most people obviously have quite a standard way to make work, to get work done in lectures. I just haven't been like that really, but we'll see how things go and I'll keep you all updated. Goodbye. Bye.